In her last Instagram story, Kylie Ray Harris shows herself driving, shows the fuel gauge in her car. Current situation iffy, she wrote. She jokes about it on Twitter, too. Fuel range is 46 miles, and I'm 36 from the nearest gas station. Dear baby Jesus, please don't let me get stranded in New Mexico. It's 3.05 p.m., six hours before the crash. I just got to Taos, New Mexico. Later, she stops the car to record the rest of her Instagram story, says she's been driving for 12 hours and is emotional about her time growing up in Taos and driving on the same roads she once traveled with her late father. But basically, literally everybody that was here has passed away except for my uncle and including my dad. And I'm going to cry. God, we're dirty. Sorry, Instagram. Police in New Mexico say 9 p.m. that same night, Harris clipped the back of another vehicle, sending her into oncoming traffic, crashing head on into this white Jeep driven by 16 year old Maria Cruz. She was on her way home from bussing tables at her family's restaurant. Her friend took this picture just a few hours earlier. She never deserved anything like this. She was too young. She was too precious. She was just a good soul. There are now GoFundMe accounts online for both families for the funeral expenses for Maria Cruz and the college fund for Kylie Ray Harris's young daughter. The singer was a single mom. Harris does have a prior DWI conviction two years ago in Collin County here in North Texas. Police have not yet determined if alcohol or distracted driving contributed to this fatal crash. But her social media accounts are now filled with people both honoring her memory and others sharing their anger, blaming her for taking the young girl's life. But one praying for both is American Idol finalist Crystal Bowersox, who wrote, Addiction is a monster, a beast you don't have to subdue on your own. There is always hope. Show up, do the work. It works if you let it, and do it before it's too late. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.